Well, John, uh, it wasn't pretty, but you'd be happy just to take the four points away. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it wasn't uh, a great game of footy, we thought, in the first 10 minutes. Uh, we weren't playing anywhere near the level that we wanted to. Uh, we, we'd only had one tackle in the first 10 minutes and they had a lot of uncontested possessions and normally we're a lot better at closing that down. Um, but fortunately, at half-time, we were only 14 points, 14 points down and uh, some players really lifted in the second half and, and found a way. We kicked seven of the last eight goals and ended up with 98 or 99 tackles and, and just willed our way over the line without playing well. And a couple of good performances by a few individuals really helped. Is it possible after that big game against Paul, eight in a row, that you maybe came a little bit flat starting in the first half? Oh, man, you, you don't know. So it's, it's hard to put a finger on it. Um, we thought you know, last week was a tough game and we thought we think you recover well with two six-day breaks, but in the end, that's what you do. I mean, it's hard to, hard to put a finger on it. Um, all I know is that uh, we found a way to win and, uh, and that's, a, that's a really good sign. You had uh, 21 on the inside 50s in succession. You probably could have put them away a bit earlier. Especially yeah. Way through. Yeah, yeah, we, but we, were, we thought that at least our pressure was up and we were starting to get repeat inside 50. So um, that can be a little bit deceiving. They'd exit it and we'd just send it back in and we had to build the pressure that way because we had to lift our pressure up that was lacking the first 10 minutes. So that was a good sign that we started to, at the start of that third quarter, started to get the repeats and started to put the pressure on. And uh, we knew it was going to be a battle all night and uh, it was a battle, and but we found a way to... A good game to, to, to get through with a win. In the end, we had seven players, 40 games or less, and a couple of young kids in the last quarter. I thought Zach Jones, Harry Cunningham um, were fantastic. So to be able to, uh, you know, a few of the experienced boys really helped, but it's good to see those young kids coming through too. How did you read the fact that you the Brands and what this is Well, Lance kicked four straight in a low scoring game. You know, we, we kicked nine, he's kicked four straight, and we weren't playing that well, so it, it helps. I mean, he's um, kicked some crunch goals at important times. So I thought Rance did a pretty good job at different times as well, but uh, he, he played quite well, Rance. Um, but to be able to kick four goals in, in, in clutch situations was important. What do you see Goodsy at the moment and his best position going forward? Oh, we needed him up the ground a little bit today because we were sort of needed some more midfielders and so he did a, did a good job at times up the ground. I mean, he'll play where we need him. Um, at different times he, he got hold of the ball and was probably one of the few in the second quarter that got it a little bit, but I mean, he'll, he'll play a number of different roles for us. Did Kieran Jack have a bit of a, a hand problem there? Was that why you moved the ground position? Or was it because maybe Koch was doing so well? Uh, probably a combination of a few things. I think he got a Something, something happened to his wrist or something. I think it's okay. So, um, uh, the Cochin was playing really well uh, in the in the midfield. We changed that up. We put Bird to Cochin and just changed the situation. We thought we needed some more run at half forward and put Kieran at half forward. So we needed to change the mix a little bit. And and um, you know that was one of the factors. But the most important factor was you know we started to really get the hit going. Oh, look, it's. Um, uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, Gibbsy said we'd have to get a scan the next day or so. But I don't think Reese is that positive about it at the moment. Sort of, I don't think it's just a rolled ankle, so I'm hoping that that's all it is. But it's um, it's a bit sore. It was a real rolling ball tonight. I mean, you hold your breath with some of the umpiring decisions. It's confusing from the stands at times. 50 50 decisions. <laughs> I'm not going to comment the umpires tonight. Is that a I'm not going to comment on the umpires tonight. It's something you can't control, so I'm not going to comment on it. How much did that last game last week take out of you? Because you did seem a little bit flat in that last quarter. In the last quarter? Yeah. I thought we were flat in the first quarter. Well, that's it, but things to be more higher as well. Oh, geez, I don't know how we won. Um, <laughs> we flattened the first quarter, the last quarter, and the second and third. But um, look, we didn't play well. Um, but in the end, we we found a way. I mean, you know, we've we've played uh, four of the other top five sides over the last eight or nine weeks, and and we've been pretty competitive and having a real crack. And last week was a tough game. Tonight was a tough game in its own way. I mean, that's. 
whether they're six day breaks, eight day breaks, it doesn't matter. The game demands you've got to play well every week. And that's the reality of it. Whether you, it doesn't matter what team you are, you need to make sure you bring your best every week. And we didn't, regardless of what happened last week, didn't bring our best in the first 10 minutes. Fortunately, we were able to turn that around and we had some really strong efforts from our leaders and a few of the young kids that started to really get going. And you know, it was, I thought it was, I was wrapped in the last quarter to be able to see Harry Cunningham do what he did, to be able to see Zach Jones in his first game do what he did. So I was really pleased with some of the aspects. Clearly, we didn't play that well, um, but we were, we were pleased with some of the things we did. Well, I just played a lot of footy. I mean, <clears throat> only because he's been at the Swans for a short period of time doesn't mean he's not an experienced leader, leader on the ground. So clearly he's able to do things at different times it's, that you need an experienced player to do, and he did a few really good things tonight. Good signs of Sam Reed tonight. That yeah. Strong, contested grabs, straight belt. Yeah, yeah. Sam's, uh, he's probably outside the club. Um, you don't probably realise what he does uh, from week to week, he's an extremely disciplined young player, and he was able to take a couple of marks and kick a couple of goals, which is which was good. It's, it's it's the cream on the top of his game because he works so hard. And uh, we, uh, tonight we had him in a bit of a different role, but he was when he went forward and take, took a couple of really clean marks and kicked straight and kicked a couple of goals. And a game like that, every goal counts. Was the third quarter frustrated, John? Yeah. Funny enough, I was really pleased with that quarter. More pleased than what we were for our first quarter. I mean, our first quarter we weren't uh, anywhere near pressuring in the opposition enough that the standard that we wanted to. And at least in that first quarter, I think we had zero, uh, sorry, twelve to zero inside fifties, which is probably what you're talking about. And and we were seeing the ball back in. It wasn't pretty, but at least we're getting our effort up. And it just seemed to be one of those nights when the, the pretty stuff wasn't going to do it. And we needed to just get down and dirty and, and try and scrap away. It just seemed to be one of those nights. And, and we were able to, you know, clearly I'd have liked to have kicked six goals out of 12 entries, but sometimes it doesn't happen that way. But at least we got our pressure and our effort up, which was lacking in the first quarter. It's been important for Buddy the last couple of games to be the really make a difference in tight games without Kurt. So he's actually done that without Kurt. Um, well, I don't think Kurt's probably comes into that as far as he's, he's, you know, he's played, a, apart from the first month, he's been pretty consistent for us. He's, um, you know, he was our, our only target in the forward half there for that first month. And we're well, not the only target, but we didn't have a lot of players. We didn't have Reed, we didn't have Goods, we didn't have Tippett. And he's been playing all the way through. and. And um, his contribution over the last couple of weeks has been very good. And, you know, once again, Rance played well, I thought, but to kick four in a game like that makes a big difference. Yeah, we liked him when Kinnear showed him Kinnear beats our recruiting manager last year and loved the way he went about it. And he's extremely hard and he can play down back, small defence, which is probably one of the reasons we looked at him. And we thought that he'd be a a good player to come into the team when some of our other players um, left the game at some point and sort of looked at that succession planning, I guess. But we were also pleased. He actually's not just a hard nut. He's actually pretty composed. And I thought tonight he actually showed a fair bit of composure under, under a lot of pressure. And he's a good athlete. He's got good pace, good endurance and good composure tonight. And, and um, he knows what AFL footy's about. He's clearly got a brother that's... Uh, one of the terrific players at AFL level, so he knows what the game's about. And um, I just thought he was really good tonight. I was really pleased. He probably hasn't slept, slept all week. Um, and putting him in the sub vest, I wasn't sure that was the right move because he, he gets a bit nervous. But he was fantastic. Showed good composure. Good on him. Thanks. 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 <laughs>